Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. We are in Jamaica in the Diamond DA42 which I recently reviewed and oh it's an absolutely stunning aircraft. You need to have this in your hangar folks. But anyway today I'm checking out something that has been around for a while. I'm probably the last YouTuber on the planet to uh, check this out so I apologize for that um, but we're checking out a new thing well not that new obviously anymore called Amalens and I probably haven't pronounced that correctly so sorry if I haven't but I think it's called Amalens or something along those lines in effect it is a software algorithm doing very clever things magical things to get rid of chromatic aberration and to sharpen up your VR headset, not just the crystal, but any headset with eye tracking capabilities. So I'm gonna try it out. Now, unfortunately today, you know, I'm not gonna be able to show you a comparison that I'm seeing. I can only express and describe my thoughts on it because it's just impossible to capture through the lens footage of what I'm seeing, okay? It's just impossible. I have tried it, can't do it which is a bit annoying but you know it's it's so subtle and it's something you cannot pick up other than from your own naked eye so to speak so before that I just want to say that this video is proudly sponsored by FS Academy and that's quite ironic simply because I haven't done all my checks and if I'd have done an FS Academy tutorial I probably would have picked that up <laughs> um, yeah, basically, if you've never heard of FS Academy, they provide excellent bespoke tutorials. Whether you are a GA pilot or airline captain, you can definitely learn something from their packages because the thing is about FS Academy is they're from a real world pilot and it really feels like they're sat there right beside you giving you instructions. It's fun, it's very fluid, it feels great. And I highly recommend that everyone on this channel gives at least one of their packages a go because it will make you into a better pilot. I'll have all the links in the description below of FS Academy and yeah as I say this is the reason why they've sponsored the channel for years now because they are the best. So what is Amalens all about? Well it's from a guy called Eugene and I have been emailing him recently, really nice chap, very passionate and it's a very clever software algorithm that works as an OpenXR layer I believe which really sharpens up the headset and even takes away some of that chromatic aberration or well, that's in theory what it's supposed to do you can try this right now for free and if you sign up he'll provide you with a link to your email address and it's very easy installed straight away and once you're in the sim whether that's DCS world or MSFS if you press your delete key which I know is here on my keyboard it will toggle the Amalens digital lens on and off and you'll be able to see the difference. I love that little feature because otherwise, you know, if you, if you had it on all the time and had to restart the sim, it'd be a right pain in the bum and you probably wouldn't even notice so much. So what are my impressions? First of all, I was a little bit disappointed with it because I've heard so much good things about this that I was expecting almost like the second coming with this. You know, people are saying it's really, really sharp, amazing difference. And I wasn't really seeing that. What I was seeing, and I'm seeing it now, I'm looking at this, all these trees, which is a good example, is like a sharpening effect. Very much like when you use CAS or FSR sharpening in the OpenXR toolkit. So I was thinking, well, really, I could just do that and have the same effect. Um, However, it is a bit more than that, actually, because it does take away some of that chromatic aberration. I don't have a lot of it in this headset, but I have tried crystals in the past that have. And I think this is where some of the discrepancies are happening between people's uh, views and opinions on it. Because crystal headsets, their lenses aren't all the same. In fact, I think the quality control of the Pimax crystal is a bit iffy. Some are better than others, as I've mentioned in previous videos. So if you do have a Pimax crystal that has a lot of chromatic aberration, then this might be more of a bigger deal than it is in mine at the moment. However, I can still see the difference. And for me, mainly it's when looking out at the horizon, everything 
definitely seems way sharper and more defined. Here's the thing though, I personally feel when I'm flying aircraft like this, and that's why I'm flying this today, with this glass cockpit display, that with it on, it actually makes the gauges in the touchscreen softer. Not by a massive amount, but it definitely makes them a bit softer. And if I just, uh, yeah, switch it on, like I'm looking at the nav and com line here, just here guys, if you're wondering, just put this mouse on. Looking at these here, that's with it on. You're not going to notice this on the uh, video, guys, but uh, I'm just telling you how, what I'm looking at. And with it off, it's definitely, it's definitely sharper. So it's not all good news. I don't think anyone's mentioned that. And that's the same effect as with using FSR sharpening and CAS as well. So I'm a bit confused about how this works. It feels like it's working the same as that, but I'm sure there's more to it than that. It's just that I'm a little bit sort of unsure whether I really like this or not. Now it's funny, when you fly around, and I have been using this for a couple of hours now, and when you fly around with it on, looking at the scenery like this, and then you switch the ammo lens off, it's like, oh yeah, it looks, suddenly the scenery looks really blurry and like filtered. So it's kind of, good in some respects but not in others now I really would like to know your experiences in the comments below because these are just my thoughts like yeah that's a massive difference with the ammo lens off looking at those trees it looks all right looks nice you know typical Pimax crystal quality which is amazing but then when you switch it on wow suddenly I can see that everything's defined but it does make things a little bit grainy as well so, I, like I say, I've got mixed feelings about it. I'm not really convinced as much as other people are. But if it's working for you, great. The only trouble is, <laughs> I'm doing this video, but it's going to become obsolete anyway in about two weeks. So I'd recommend trying it now. Now, Eugene, the developer, wants the VR manufacturers to get on board with this. He wants to sell this product to the manufacturers. That is Pimax and Vario, maybe not HP though, <laughs> with the Omni set. We'll uh, gloss over that one. Perhaps even the Quest Pro will, will work with this because it's got eye tracking. And I do understand why he wants to go that route because, well, it's probably more money for him. I don't know, because I, I guess it'll be like a license for a year, for like a business license. And also it will be native, which means compatibility won't be broken so much when there's like, you know, updates to the, to the sim and OpenXR and that kind of thing. But, you know, in some ways I kind of wish that he would make this available to everyone for a, a small purchase fee. And I think in some ways that might be a little bit more fruitful for Eugene because from what I've seen on the forums and on my Discord, most people absolutely love it. I'm kind of a bit of a minority when it comes to the fact that I'm not blown away with it you know I think it is really good and I can definitely understand why people say that it's sharper because in some respects it is looking at the terrain here even looking at the aircraft I can see all those lines a lot more defined if I take it off it suddenly becomes really like blurry is not the word but it just feels very filtered you know but then when I switch it back on again it just looks really good. If there's some way of being able to keep the uh, visual fidelity and clarity of glass cockpits, then I'm definitely all for this. But either way, I've got a feeling that most of you out there are gonna be really impressed with this. So here we are, flying over Jamaica in World Update, whatever it is. Is it 16 now? I can't remember. <laughs> And oh, this looks absolutely fantastic. It really does look so good. And I'm now going to make another video about the DOF Reality H2. But anyway, I hope that's some interest to you. And of course, please let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this. I really do feel, regardless of what I think, that Pimax should definitely integrate this into the software of the Pimax Crystal. 
because I think overall I'm definitely more for it than against it although I do feel it's not quite as good as I was expecting from what I've seen and heard from other people they are absolutely blown away with it so maybe it's just me being weird I don't know but uh, like for instance the glass cockpit here I can see some graininess here with it on and if I turn it off that disappears and then the instruments look sharp and for me the instrument clarity is one of the main reasons why I love the crystal so much and all display port connection headsets whether it's a Reba G2 you know or the Vari Aero you just get that super sharp clarity that you just don't get from any other headset when it comes to instrument gauges and being you know a sim pilot especially one in real life if you're training cockpit clarity is more important to me than the world around me but it is funny isn't it that at the moment you can either have one or the other it doesn't do both but when I switch it back on again all those trees they just look so defined so that's why I've got mixed feelings about it anyway that's enough from me let me know in the comments below what you think the uh, website for Amalens will be in the description below sign up check it out let me know what you think in the comments below Take care, folks. I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.